A.K.A. My Taurus Babies, what's happening with you? This is EJ from Tarot Tarot. Getting ready to kick off the month of July with second to the last sign in the Zodiac, Taurus and Aquarius, sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Um, Y'all got some good stuff coming. For many of you, this relationship, this coupling, pairing, situationship, imaginationship, relationship, whatever you're calling it, is fraught with struggle for a lot of you. And some of you may be, and I'm talking to Taurus now, some of you may be like, it's all my fault. I don't understand my Aquarius. I don't get it. And it really isn't anybody's fault. But you got to figure that you and Aquarius, and I'm going to say even more so than our opposite sign, Scorpio, Taurus and Aquarius are probably the least two compatible signs in the Zodiac. And you can Google, search it, Facebook it, Instagram it, whatever you want to do, and see that that is a relationship that usually doesn't rank more than 30% in compatibility. Go figure that shit out. But there's a thing. You see, the universe, a lot of times, I'm going to give a damn what the stars are saying about some shit. There's a, a, a magic between Taurus and Aquarius. And I don't know, I don't know that I can actually put my finger on what it is. But there's a magic between Taurus and Aquarius that doesn't happen with Taurus and other signs. Um, I think Taurus is fascinated with Aquarius because they're such big thinkers and they are such humanitarians and I think Aquarians are fascinated with Taurus because we are so damn loyal, so damn grounded, <laughs> it's so damn practical. Um, and oftentimes those opposites can complement each other. You can kind of pull your partner, your person along in those places where they may be weak, such as Taurus being grounded. You can kind of help Aquarius become more grounded or see a more practical side of life and then the same being true for Aquarius helping Taurus to put being so damn practical and think a little outside of the box sometimes so it can actually be a very good pairing but you gotta know how to work with the damn energy however <laughs> semicolon um this month is going to remove some of the regular obstacles that those two signs um, encounter as a couple. Um, and there's just going to be a general feeling of goodwill, if I can use that term, um, happiness and contentment. I I'll put it there. And that's something that I don't think this pairing gets a lot of. It's usually some drama on one end or the other, um, particularly with Taurus, because Taurus is, you know, trying to be drama-free all the time. You know, you, you say some stupid shit to us, we, we get ready to take our hooves off and go running right for the china shop, straight through. This month, you're not going to be so willing to do that, dear Taurus. On the other side of that Aquarius, where you like to close up, shut down, you're just not going to be able to do that. Triumph and success. This is what's in the top end of your overall energy and light. This is what's in the back end. The challenge. Speaking that love to each other. There have been communication snafus for every fucking body. Because of Mercury this and Mercury that. Mercury is now in direct station and moving forward it will be out of the shadow period i want to tell you friday july 9th actually thursday july 8th for some of you i'm gonna just throw this out here this is a, a karmic situation i'm just looking at this but there are there's a new beginning here and it's just just the same thing that I was saying before I put the cards down. There, that spiritual union, and y'all got a lot of many of you. Let me stop here and do a little disclosure. Many of you might be in a karmic situation with your Aquarius. Might be a soulmate, twin flame, karmic connection, soul connection, 
whatever label you're putting on it, however it feels to you, all of those are different things. They have different feelings. Um, but this is definitely more than just the run-of-the-mill type shit. This ain't just, ooh, the sex is wonderful. No, it's more than that. A lot more than that. And so this month, you two have to deal with the spiritual part of this relationship. Let me put it to you like that. That's better. I had to clean up my screen. Any, at any rate, um, overcoming your fears. And we turn that around, letting go of dependent ties. But it's overcoming your fears. Hmm. That goes in the first decision. Make first first position. Here I go. Making decisions. Ace of Cups is here on the front side. On the fucking front side. So there's clarity. There's healing. Uh, there's peace. You see a little bit flitting, flittering around. <coughs> it's on the, the back end of your overall energy. And the high priestess. All Taurus, all shit. And not the high priestess. I'm sorry, the empress. It's still Taurus. Doesn't matter. Um, this is moving forward, even though this is the backside moving forward but um what you will notice in this card and this is going to sit on top of the the i speak or the throat chakra card you see that explosion over there and you see this bird <laughs> flying right into you taurus away from said explosion um there's going to be a shake up this month and we're going to get to that in a minute. So let's look at the first and the second week of July. So, of course, the Page of Swords is sitting on the spiritual union. We got the Chariot sitting on the base chakra or the I have. You got the Five of Pentacles sitting on power. The Eight of Pentacles sitting on top of foundation and achievements. The Sun card sitting on new beginnings. Be damned in the two of cups on the disruption. So, this, let, let's go back to before the cards got on the table. This is going to be a month where goodness, well being, uh, and contentment, and that, that's the one word that I use both times. And this is what it is you're going to get to this point. After all this bullshit and disruption and confusion and cussing each other out and being in separation and not talking to each other, some other bullshit is going to come to a quick and abrupt halt. This is the universe putting its foot in it with this spiritual union. And so there are decisions that are going to be have to, that are going to have to be made. And I'm going to say that. Since we're looking at the page of swords sitting on top of that spiritual union, this is going to be Aquarius because towards the air, it's going to be in the decision-making position, and it certainly feels like it's Aquarius that's going to have to make some decisions. So, you could be anywhere on the range of both of you being in different relationships, both of you just coming out of relationships that were stressful and not necessarily a good match no karmic any kind of just just a pairing and you just ended up with somebody some of you may be coming out of a karmic some of you may be trying to get away from the twin foot whatever however this is working for you but it's coming universe is like fuck all that dumb shit you've been talking about you can't won't don't what why this is divine and then if you want to just get fancy with it, divinely guided. it. Yes, it is. Spiritual union. But the energy here is that Aquarius is going to have to stand up and turn their back on some things and make some decisions in order to manifest fully the spiritual union. And these ain't easy. You know, he ain't sitting, he ain't standing in front of the corner store or, the, you know, the local bar. He is standing on top of the damn clouds. And some other shit. <laughs> so it's a big decision. 
Um, Aquarius, you may, if you're cross-watching, you may be up in your head this month about this because this is not going to be an easy decision for you, not necessarily to make, but it's not going to be received well. So if you're talking about leaving a job, your boss is going to throw all kind of shit up in your face about why you should not leave this company right now. If you are talking about breaking a lease, landlord is going to throw up all kind of shit to keep you from, from moving forward. And some of this is, it's not bad. It's just that they realize you've been a good tenant, a good employee, a good whatever. And pretty much you're like, fuck all that, I got to go. I must say this. You're not going to have much say in how this plays out. This is, again, divinely guided. So you're going to have to work with the universe on this. You're going to have to just roll through some shit and go through some shit to get to, uh, damn, the good shit. In a regular deck, this would be the Two of Cups. I guess we showed up. Pow! The Two of Cups. Ain't no, ain't no mistakes here. Ain't no damn mistakes here. So this first week is going to be fraught with decision-making we are past the thinking stage. Aquarius, I'm, I'm, I'm hollering at you right now. We are past the in the head stage. We are moving forward. And again, universe is not going to allow you too much time to be sitting around dwelling on dumb shit anyway because the universe, once again, divinely guided, has ordained it. So, then look what's there. The chariot. Time to move on. It's time to move on. And while this may not actually be a physical thing that happens, the decision will be made that you gotta, you know, again, landlord, employer, you know, begging, pleading with you basically, don't go. It could be a relationship that you are in. And it's at this point, you're like, you know what, I can't, I can't, because this is not fulfilling me emotionally, it's not fulfilling me spiritually. And Aquarius, if you're cross watching, you may find yourself saying some shit you ain't heard yourself say before. I'm just saying. But here it is, and there you go. And so this will start a new cycle for Taurus and Aquarius, if this is applying to you. And now we're going to get down to the I have. Baby, what you got? I got five on it. What you got? I got ten on it. Okay. And for some of you, this may be new energy. This is a number one. So that means, hello, we're right there at the beginning. That this is a seven that seven is about divine. So this is a divine beginning. So both of you, Taurus and Aquarius, both are going to find yourself like, wait, I, I ain't never had to ask nobody, tell nobody how much money I had in the bank. What the hell is this about? But it's here. And it's here. And that it's not this way or this way or some other kind of way. And I don't, I don't, I don't put cards down in reverse. I read the energy. So... I know this is forward moving for both of you. Both of you. Moving together. Hello, down here. One of the both of you may have a fire placement somewhere in your natal chart. I'm looking at that red. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, rising, Venus, moon sign somewhere. Both of you, one of you might have that. And so wherever those placements are, if you know anything about your natal chart, it'll be those areas that have fire in them that's going to help move this situation along, if you will. At the end of the first week, with the Five of Pentacles sitting on top of the power, you move out of this energy. And once again, we're talking about fire. So I'm, I'm guessing maybe one of you has maybe Leo somewhere prominently in your natal chart. We put that out there like that. But... You're coming out of this hopeless. And even as you're going through this, because again, like I said, this is divinely guided energy. So this first week, you really, all you're going to have to do is just get in the car. The car going to drive its damn self. But there may be points during the week where you're like, I can't fucking do all of this. This is too fucking much. What the hell? Of course, all of that is coming from any kind of resistance that's being put up any kind of worry that's being thrown out of there and ultimately all of that just like fuck it but again there's a reminder here you got the power and you're in power whether i'm talking to taurus or aquarius and this is as it relates to things that may try to be in your way to move forward 
then I, I feel fire. So one of the both of you may have rising signs in uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or moon signs in Aries. And this is going to be very much about how you're processing your emotions as well. But whether you like it or not, want it or not, this hopelessness is going to fall away because the universe is going to show you where your power lies. Just a heads up. So keep your eyes open. We get to the second week with the Eight of Pentacles on top of the foundation and achievements. This is usually about caution on this side. This side is about patience and learning and some other shit. But this is the hard work that the two of you have been trying to put into the foundation of this relationship. And it doesn't matter how long or how much or whatever, but there's been, like I said, before I put the cards down, this relationship has been a struggle. But all of that struggle has actually helped you build a oh, foundation. And this is, what, this is what you're thinking about, having it all with each other. The caution here is not to throw away, and, and this, this energy from the chariot to the five of pentacles to the eight of pentacles, in this little period, it feels like you may just be like, you know what, fuck it, I can't do this, this is too much, I can't go, if I leave, my employer's going to be mad, if I move out of my apartment or my house, my landlord's going to be pissed, if I do this, but that, fuck it, I can't do it. The caution here is not to negate the hard work that you've put in. Don't throw that shit out the window on some bullshit. If you, this is what you want. And, then, and the energy here feels like both of you, if for no other reason, you want to see if this can go the distance. We just, y'all like each other that much. You just want to see, fuck it. We just, fuck it. Just fuck it. We're going to try this. Fuck it. But there are going to be spots in this month where you're going to be like, you know what, really? Really? The caution here is not to throw your hard work away that you put into the situation. Second week, the sun card on top of new beginnings, all of that explains itself. So I'm going to just say that by the time we get to the end of next week, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, uh, right on through the 14th and 15th, this is where we step outside of ourselves, stand up in our light, and go, okay, I'm through with all this wishy-washy, hopeless, I'm going to throw it all away. <laughs> I don't want to go type shit. I'm, I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to step into my own shit. Because I'm being A, divinely guided to do this. And B, I want to do this. Both of you. By standing up in your son. But Taurus, you in particular, probably going to take the lead on this one. Like, this is my book. And the haters are going to stand there and go, what? At the end of this, second week and again we now we're talking about the 13th the 14th and the 15th this is where the disruption happens and in this deck and i don't even know why i picked this deck i put my hands on i had i shuffled the other deck but this is the deck that came up so here we go this card the disruption card on the bottom this is where other people's shit in our lives gets displaced except this time this is not them doing the displacing this is y'all towards you two. You're going to start rearranging, folks. Might even start rearranging some furniture. Come on, work with me. Because boo-boo is here. Period. End of disco show. I can't make this shit up. I can't. And this is where you're going to finally tell that person in the mail room, I got a man. Uh, I thought you liked me. Uh-uh. Not you, baby. I got a man. <laughs> Another man. Or Tell the little girl that works at the coffee thing. Oh, my girlfriend. Oh, And people are going to be upset. Let's get this out here. Especially if you're having this kind of issue. And I don't want to say issue like that. But, yeah, it's an issue where, you know, the universe literally has to step in and kick you both in the ass and say, come on, let's get this shit going. Because y'all are getting on the universe's nerves now with all the loving devil shit, trying to hide it. Don't want to talk about it, all that other bullshit. Universe is in here. People are not, you know, and see, it's going to dawn on them that this is something they cannot just jump in the middle of and go, you can't do that. 
at the wedding, you know, if anybody has any objections to this union, speak now forever, hold, you know, and here come the chick running down the aisle. No, he can't marry him. That shit. It's not going to matter because, again, it's divinely guided. Aquarius, you see that star up there. This is where the, the real exchange of emotions comes through for Aquarius. And Aquarius sometimes is not always the most emotional preacher in the world. But this is where you start, despite all the disruption, this is where the serene contentment, come on. This is where this occurs. So by the time you get into the second week, Things between the two of you will settle down. The rest of the world, their panties are going to be in a bunch. I'm going to just tell you now. Everybody, well, why did you leave? Why? You could do that. I'm just saying. I am just saying. Yep. It's here. And the prosperity begins at the end of the month. Uh, you, you can't make this shit up. You can't make it up. You cannot. Love. Security. Come on. Got the emperor. And again, there's that fire. But hold that thought. The Six of Swords, come on. And the World Card. <laughs> they made this shit up. You can't not make this. Liberation. Queen of Swords. Choosing wisely. Now, this is not about choosing person wisely because y'all have already made the decision to do this and the universe is put in a helping hand if you will but what it is you're getting ready to embark on where are you going five or six different directions going which way are you going and this is something you are going to have to deal with as a couple here is where the differences between Taurus and Aquarius will come in. And that it's sitting underneath this Eight of Pentacles. What did I tell you? Don't throw all your hard work away trying to make some decisions on some shit. Same applies here. But it needs to be, you see those two birds flying together. It needs to be a decision that you both are happy with. That in turn will bring you and this may surprise both of you, but it's going to bring you the very liberation and freedom you've been looking for. Sounds crazy. It is not. That's how the universe works, especially if it knows how you are and what you want and that you want to be with a certain person. It'll give it all to you. You're like, oh, this is so wonderful. I couldn't have planned this myself. This is that type of energy right here. But because this is the queen there's some boundaries and things that are going to have to be put in place. Again, choosing wisely. The direction are y'all going in? And see, there's there's some things that are going to some structure that's going to have to be put in place in order for you to get to the next thing. But love, L O V E, love that part. that part the emotional withdrawal and this is on Taurus' side now um, is not going to be a negative thing but Taurus for whatever reason in this situation you may have some emotional processing that you need to do that 8 that 8 that number 8 is about long term Infinity, it's the infinity symbol if you turn it sideways. But the foundation, because that breaks into two fours. The foundation of what you're embarking on. And understanding that in, uh, the page is not giving me anything immature, but it is definitely giving me um, 
the feeling of renewed love, almost like you're discovering each other for the first time. And so that may cause you quite well to do some emotional withdrawing and thinking about where you are and how you got here. Again, this is a spiritual union. So the thinking and the processing is not going to stop. The digging deeper is not going to stop. It's just going to be easier to move through all of that because this is got some divine intervention in it. Second week, that re love renewal thing. And I swear to God, every time I start reading, I see something new. That's a fish up there, okay. Um, one of the both of you may have Pisces somewhere in your placement, wherever that is, that'll be about what it affects. Um, so if you have a Pisces moon sign, this would be most definitely, it's cups anyway, but it'll most definitely affect how you're processing your emotions. And that, again, is, may cause some emotional withdrawal. At the end of that third week, with the Knight of Pentacles, this slow ass, on top of the triumph, and I gotta add this because it's not gonna make sense if it don't. The Emperor, the recognition and reward again, the Emperor as it relates to Aries. So one or both of you may have Aries somewhere in your natal chart. Check that out because that's where it affects us. <coughs> Hard one security, but it's here. Hello. Definite triumph. Which then brings, just roll right into the third week. Recognizing, and the universe actually recognizing, there's that light again, standing in your light, and rewarding you for taking a risk. Because for both of you, this is a risk. Okay, how you... Chopping it up, it's a risk. Um, and then, because it's the back side of this, it's looking at the fruits of your labor. What is this relationship yielding? What is it going to yield? That choose wisely up there, ain't no damn mistake. No mistake. Which direction are you going in? And not throwing away all the hard work you've had, you've put into this to get this foundation. <laughs> finally some success there you go slow moving ass finally getting to the destination of what you're supposed to be doing who you're supposed to be with learning the types of things that you need to learn in this connection being recognized and rewarded by the universe for just going okay this is what I'm going to do and seeing the fruits of your labor more major energy from there <clears throat> Talking about changes. Of course there's going to be changes. You're making changes. And some of you are going to have to look at where you are, not with each other, but wherever you are before you actually, for lack of a better term, jump the broom. I'm not saying anybody's getting married, although that's a possibility. But I'm using that to delineate between before and after. So now you going to have to deal with some of the, the fallout from the first week in the decisions that, you're made, that you've made. And, you know, it's going to make you go, damn, why the hell did I do that dumb shit for? What the fuck was I thinking? Let me hurry up and get in my canoe, not kayak, <laughs> and roll my ass away. Out of the choppy into the karma. What I tell you, this is a month of contentment for Taurus and Aquarius. Finally. I'm sorry I said that out loud. But that's exactly what it is. And so then at the end of the month, then it only, it's only, <laughs> the only thing it could be, the world card, which means you have reached your destination from this side. And here's where the prosperity begins. And this is where things that, if finances between the two of you has been an issue, you know, how come you don't make this much? How come you don't do this? How come you, this is, at the end of the month, this is where you realize why none of that shit worked and why anything else wasn't happening before now. That's a lot of apples, I'm just telling you. It's a lot of apples. And this is going to be, once this is moving, where's my chariot card? From the first week, once you get going to get a good trot going, 
here's where all the ideas and shit just start falling out of the sky. Oh, we can do this. Oh, we can do that. Oh, we can do this too. Do that too. Oh, it's a new beginning. Woo! Can't make this shit up, man. I can't. I ain't even trying to make it up. That's the part. Uh, let's see. We do granny cards. Since I shuffle granny cards early, early. Give me some cards for advice for Taurus and Aquarius, please. It's not over. So for those of you that may have let me see. Let me out. Yeah, now you can see it. It's not over. <laughs> it's not over. For those of you where this whole little scenario may just fall out of the sky. You're like, wait, wait, what the fuck? The, here, here it is, just in case you are in a Taurus Aquarius situation. <laughs> you're like, this is over. No, it ain't. Do it. Because you want to. And this is where the universe steps in. I think the universe probably has a good idea that the two of you, you want to try this. this is what I said earlier. Just fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's just see if we can go the damn distance. Let's see. At that point, you're doing it because you want to. Be fearless and tearless. Because you. this is tough. Y'all think I'm playing. This is not easy energy. This, this is comparable to, and those of you that are black that are watching, you will understand perfectly what I'm saying. I got the call and the preach. This is the same energy right here. Jesus woke me up and told me I had to go preach the word. Same strong intensity. You see the little mistletoe up there? It's not mistletoe, but okay. This is divinely guided. So, some of you are almost going to be making a decision and not understanding why you're making the decision. Let me put that out there. But the decision is going to be made nonetheless. And it, fuck it. Fuck it. There's no sense in, in fretting and worrying about something that the creator and the universe has got its foot in. You've got to know the, the creator is not going to lead you down the path of donkey do. Certainly not. So you've got to be fearless. You're going to have to be tearless and just move into this energy. Many of you will be stepping away from stuff. Many of you may be in separation right in this moment and going, I can it. I've healed and I don't want to go back. Come on now. But you still wake up thinking about this person. You go to bed thinking about, but I've healed. Come on. You're going to have to be fearless and tearless and go ahead and take this risk. Jump off the damn cliff. And many of you are already here. If you're not in separate, you're already here. Fuck it. Can we do this? Can we really? Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we go the damn distance? Taurus and Aquarius, babies, I love you. I hope you have a good month of July. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.